What is up guys, so welcome back to yet another Grand Theft Auto 3 video and in this one I'm going to be showing you guys the second import export garage list which can be found over in Shoreside Vale and this is where it's at um, just to give you a bit of a view you know of where it is because this game has no in-game map um, so yeah as you can see there's a new list here that we have to get all the vehicles in um, and the one that I have right here is a stretch uh, you'll see how to get it in the next clip but basically we have to get all these vehicles and deliver them to this garage right here and um, yeah so in this video I'm going to show you how to get each and every one of them not all of them have a park location uh, which kind of makes it a bit of a trickier list but I will try my best to help you guys find all of the vehicles on the list but anyway um, let me just show you how this works you just take your vehicle and just you know park it in front and this will open and just you know leave it inside and yeah let's go ahead and, and see what happens yeah pretty much the same thing as the portland one as you can see the stretch is now checked off so yeah let's go ahead and get started with the first vehicle all right guys so over here we have the stretch this is one of the well the rare vehicles that you can find in the game now for some reason my game has always been a really easy vehicle to get a hold of it's always spawning around this area near your hideout in um, uh, Staunen Island so yeah this is a stretch if you have a lot of trouble finding it I suggest you just go around you know looking for for a long while and it should spawn and if not then you know if you're doing a mission or something and you happen to see this vehicle then just drop everything you're doing and just get the vehicle because in the PS2 version as I remember it was actually quite the tricky vehicle to get a hold of um, but anyway yeah this is the stretch now a really good place to go uh, for this specific list is the airport's parking lot because in this parking lot you can actually get a hold of most of the vehicles in the list. Uh, as you can see there's the Infernus, uh, over here we have the Sentinel, and uh, I'm not sure if the this one is required but um, over there we have the Esperanto which is also required, um, the Manana, and these vehicles are always parked parked here guys there's no like uh difference they're always going to be parked maybe in different spots but yeah as you can see here's the stallion which is another one required and the uh oh the land stalker this one is always required this one's always parked here i promise you um but yeah as you can see we've already gotten like five vehicles down in just one shot so yeah th this parking lot you can get a hold of all these vehicles and if they're locked just go out and come back in and they should be unlocked so yeah there goes probably five or more vehicles so yeah let's move on to the other ones all right guys this red car you see right here this is the idaho now i don't exactly know a location for this one but i mean come on this car is always roaming around i mean it's not hard to find at all and i'm sure that even the people who don't know this game have seen this car hundreds of times already so yeah this is the idaho um yeah good luck finding it it, rip it respawns everywhere guys it should be a piece of cake to find so right next to donald's mansion you can always find the cheetah parked in this house right here uh this is what it looks like all right guys and down the hill from that villa we just collected the uh uh, the cheetah from we can find this villa which is the first one out of all and this is where we can get the stinger so right next to your safe house as you're going up these uh, hills you'll find this parking lot in which you can get the banshee this one is always parked here and there's always a stallion there as well I believe but um, I already showed you a better location for that one anyway this is the banshee even though this is a great location for it, um, this one still spawns pretty much everywhere. So, if you don't happen to find it, it's always parked here. And yeah. Alright guys, so here's the taxi. Now, um, I actually forgot to point out that this car was also at the airport parking lot. Um, but yeah, if you, don't, if you didn't get the chance to get it there, they're always spawning around everywhere, as you can see. There's also two in my... Um, my video I guess so uh, yeah it's a really easy car to get uh, so yeah sorry for not pointing it out er, earlier in this video whoops alright so I'm over in Portland and this is where you can get the perennial 
right in front of Joey's garage right there. Um, this is a pretty memorable car. I mean, everybody knows what the perennial is. But yeah, it's always parked here in GTA 3. So yeah, easy car. Alright guys, so this is where you can get the Karuma in uh, Greasy Joe's. I mean, you can see it by the huge uh, sign there. This is where you could get the Moonbeam and the, uh, yeah, that vehicle in the uh, Portland garage. But in this case, this is where you can get the Karuma. It's always parked here. So yeah, that's the Karuma. Alright, so here we have a uh, cabbie. Um, the only difference with this one and the taxi cab is that as you can see over here the taxi is way smaller than the cabbie so yeah the cabbie doesn't have an exact location well unless you complete the uh, taxi missions it will always respawn there but I haven't done that yet so yeah it's pretty easy they spawn everywhere so yeah it shouldn't be too hard to find so uh, yeah this is the cabbie alright so over here in front of El Burro's missions you can always find the um, BF injection. Now the thing with this one is it's only available at night and it becomes available I believe after you complete El Burro's missions. I'm not sure exactly but if if you completed the story of, or if you have at least gone to Shoreside already it should be available already. Um, so yeah just make sure you come here at night and uh, should be parked right here. For some reason this one does not have lights. That is so weird. But anyway, yeah, that's the BF injection. Alright guys, so I got the last vehicle here. Let's go ahead and deliver it and uh, finish this. And there we go. We get a ton of money. And uh, whenever we want to, we can just come here and... Uh, get whatever vehicle we want just like the um, one in the Portland list uh, only cool thing about this one is that we can actually get good cars instead of really lame ones like in Portland uh, so in this case I'm gonna go ahead and get the cheetah where is it uh, here we go All right let's go outside and get our vehicle alright I believe we get um, the same one we delivered, uh, same color and everything. I'm not exactly sure, but um, yeah, guys, that is about it. I really hope this helped you out, um, even though it was, well, less locations than in the Portland video. Well, the Portland cars are actually a little harder than these now that I, you know, remember. But yeah, um, that is about it. Uh, thank you for watching. There's still one list left which is the emergency vehicle crane, but I will be covering that in another video. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video, guys. Uh, peace out.